Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a first impressions of the brand new Wayne Goss Pearl Moonstone palette. This is hard to open. Oh my, why do they do this? I can't open. Okay, the Pearl Moonstone palette from Wayne Goss. I love that name, Pearl Moonstone. That sounds beautiful. Let's dive into it. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the brand new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And yeah, I've so far I've reviewed just about everything Wayne Goss has come out with and I was really excited about this one because I love cool toned colors if you are familiar with my channel and I always love a good blue cool smoky eye. So I saw this and I was like this this is a look that I like. I like what I'm seeing here. We're just gonna do it kind of old school. I don't normally do first impressions reviews like this too often, but since there's only six shades, I figured let's just dive into it. So let's take a closer look at this guy. So it does come in the same packaging that the previous palette came in. I struggle with this clamp closure. I don't know why, but anyways, it's just really sleek, simple packaging made in the USA, 24 month shelf life. And it is going to cost you $55 at Beautylish. It still is currently available. Along with this, there was a couple of his eye coals that came out in really cool deep amethyst and blue sapphire. I only have his black eye coal and I love his black eye coal. So I can't speak on the new colors, but good eye coal. And you can get that in a bundle, but I decided to just go with the palette. So in here, you are getting three finishes. So in here, you are getting three mattes, two satins, and one celestial shade, which is very, very glittery. I absolutely loved his marketing with this one. If the main photo is of a more mature, a woman rocking a blue smoky eye and that makes me happy because that is his target demographic is more mature women and I think he's doing a really great job with that I think it's just very refreshing based on what's on the market right now oh my goodness I'm wearing that hourglass concealer and it's creastopia right now it's making me look like I have wrinkles I haven't watched any reviews on this palette but I've even gotten comments from you guys it seems that maybe the reviews are mixed on this palette like I said I haven't watched any but I'm just unfiltered let's just get into it I'm gonna start off by swatching these live we have a satin shade and the shimmer and then the matte and you guys know how I feel about the pan sizes and the price I don't want to harp on it too much but yes I do wish the pan sizes were smaller for a lesser price and I hope that he does that in the future. So one, two, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I like the way that everything swatched with the exception of this peach shade. Now I did swatch it earlier and it gives a very, very pretty finish on the skin, but it's not really going to give you color. It gives almost like a pearl sheen. But other than that, it doesn't swatch very well. But everything else really seemed to swatch pigmented, pretty buttery. He doesn't have the most smooth and like creamy formula, but that's okay. I don't think that's always necessary. Sometimes brands make it so smooth and creamy that the shadow just kind of meshes together. So I think it's fine that the shadows aren't super creamy. How do I want to do this? Let's just, let's create a pretty look. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. I should use my Wayne Gotch brushes, but they are so dirty right now. <laughs> so we're going to start off with this pearl shade right here. It's supposed to be peachy. I don't think it's very peachy. Let me get closer. Hello. I'm gonna do yeah so this is going to be more of your highlight shade it definitely looks like it would be deeper in the pan but it's actually quite brightening so i don't know if you can see it's not going to give you payoff or the color that you see it's more so going to give you a glow i mean honestly that's really pretty but i think if you're using it as an all over lid shade that might be a little bit disappointing but the reason why i applied it where i applied it is because when i swatched it i noticed that it had no pigmentation <laughs> this makes a really pretty highlight though now we're gonna go into the gray shade i'm not gonna do any any crazy unique look. I feel like so many looks have been done with this palette that I can't be that much more unique with it. I just really want to play with the formulas here. And I have concealer on my eyelid and I did not set it. I mean, that blended out really nice, honestly. And the pigmentation, it's not too much, but it's showing up perfectly. Like, I don't feel like I need more pigmentation and it's blending out really, really nice. Now we're going into this deep charcoal shade. Now, this shade is not 
giving me as much pigmentation as I would like. I feel like I would want this to be really, really punchy. I feel like it's not different enough from the crease color that I just applied. It is a little bit patchy too. I don't know if you can see that, but there is skin that you can see through. I'm gonna see if I can doctor that. Yeah, it's definitely giving me a little bit of patchiness in this area. Let's continue on with that. I'm gonna take the shimmery gray and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I'm just gonna use my finger. And this is a nice soft satin shade. It's not gonna give you a big punch of color or anything, but that's what you need to consider with his brand. It is made for a more mature skin type and these really blingy metallic foiled colors just aren't going to be the most flattering. And obviously rug whatever you want, but this is like what you learn in makeup school, you know? it's just is kind of a known fact that the shimmers is going to emphasize texture but that's okay like I really like it I think it's really pretty it's nothing to write home about but it worked well and that's kind of the texture and finish you should expect from the brand I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line and we're gonna deepen right here do I want to play with the black today? I guess we should. I liked his black in the last palette. I'm going to assume this is the same formula. And I'm going to apply this to the outer V. It's black, so don't apply too much at once. Just use a light hand, little by little. Yeah, I mean, that's working out fine for me. Let's go all along the lower lash line. Let's just go really smoky. Why not? Now apply my black eye coal. The black is super pigmented. And now I'm going to take just a little bit of the celestial shade and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid. No glitter glue. And that is stunning. And I'm going to veil it over the inner and outer corners. Ooh. I mean, I really like that look. That's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye, do liner and lashes, and then I'll be back to kind of tell you my final thoughts so far. So here is the final look. I didn't do this on camera, but I actually ended up going in with the black for a shadow liner and it worked really well. And I actually used this shade right here as a highlight. I thought it would be gorgeous and I was correct. So here's the thing. I had a lot of people messaging me telling me that other reviews are bad. Tantalia gave this palette a really bad review. Like they just wanted to know the truth. And I've got to be honest with you guys. I didn't have a bad experience with this palette. There are some things to note if you are eyeing this palette. Number one, I think that these shades are too close to each other. I didn't find this one to have much more depth than this one. And this shade in particular, I noticed was a bit patchy. I don't think this is the best quality gray that I've ever used. Gray is a little bit more difficult to formulate. However, this just, it wasn't the best gray. You could see in my demo that there was some patchiness. I didn't think it was horrible. I felt like I was able to doctor it and make it look okay. But yes, if you're a beginner with makeup, this one did show up a little bit patchy. With this shade, you might be disappointed in it because there is no pigmentation or color payoff. For this guy, it's going to be more so about the finish. And I personally like that, but I can see a lot of people not liking that about this color. It's my highlight today. I think it's gorgeous. It gives off that pearly finish as my inner corner highlight and under brow highlight. I think it's stunning. It's nice and subtle. So I actually like this shade. I wasn't expecting to, but just know what you're getting with that. Again, with his satins in general, they are not going to be really, really blingy. They're a satin and satin shades are not very trendy right now. So not a lot of people use satin shades. I think it's a nice satin shade. I think it is great for mature skin. It was nice and soft. I didn't mind the shade. It's not necessarily the most gorgeous color in the palette, but it's a nice gray satin. I didn't have any problems with the black, but of course I am always very, very light-handed with my blacks. And I thought that the blue shade was absolutely stunning. He does a really nice job with his Celestial formula. I think it is so, so fun. So I think that this palette is so, so. I don't really know that it's worth $55. I do think since there's a black in here, this shade maybe isn't the greatest. This shade is not the greatest and these two who are very similar. It's definitely not a need. I definitely would say I like his first one much better. I think it was executed better, but it's okay. You know, if you like this color story, you can definitely make it work. I mean, I like the look that I created and I didn't have a horrible time with it. So anyways, I hope you guys have found that review helpful in some sort of way. Let me know your thoughts below. Have you tried this palette? Did you have the same experience as Temptalia or did you not mind it like me? That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have a good one.